Scott from Scott Shop Media. Today is Friday, January 29th, and this is what is happening on the mountain. We have uh, no uh, Caltrans projects scheduled for today or for the weekend uh, on the mountaintop. There is that one overnight Caltrans project at the bottom of the 330 transition to the 210 uh, that might have you uh, detoured uh, tonight uh, after 10 p.m. Um, and currently, uh, most of the mountain is under R2 chain restrictions. Uh, but if you are traveling on the 18 from the Big Bear Dam to the Mitsubishi plant or Highway 38 uh, from the 18 to Hatchery, uh, you will be under R3 conditions, chains required on all vehicles. We are still under a winter storm warning until about 3 o'clock this afternoon and a flush, flash flood watch in lower elevations uh, below 4,000 feet, it looks like, until about 4 o'clock this afternoon. We had just two crimes reported on the mountain yesterday. No uh, Southern California Edison outages reported, which is really good news with all the snow uh, and COVID-19. 12 new cases reported yesterday. So again, we continue to decline on our daily reporting. That's awesome. 235 active cases. Uh, but unfortunately, we did have two new deaths reported yesterday in Crestline. Uh, if you have a few minutes to stick around, we'll go into greater details, starting with our traffic. You can see uh, chain is about uh, chain control is about 4,000 feet, um, maybe even lower in some areas. Uh, R2 conditions on most of the mountaintop, with the exception of the um, 18 from the Mitsubishi plant all the way to the Big Bear Dam uh, through the Big Bear Valley, Big Bear City, Big Bear Lake you are under R3 conditions and the 38 from Big Bear Dam all the way through the valley over here to Hatchery uh, in Sugarloaf, you are in R3 conditions as well. So travel is not recommended right now. It is still snowing in lots of parts of the mountains as of 1130 this morning. Uh, we expect to see some more snowfall until the early this evening. Uh, so if you don't have to be out on the road, there are, you can see a handful of CHP incidents. Most of these are stuck vehicles. Uh, people are trying to chain up, chaining up on the highway. People have lost their chains and even some minor traffic accidents. Nothing major, but the roads are pretty uh, treacherous right now. Uh, continue our winter storm warning until about four o'clock. Flash flood watch below five or 4,000 feet until about four o'clock. We have a 70% chance of some snow showers until then. Um, and then after the storm blows out tonight, we shall see some uh, mostly clear and sunny conditions for the next few days until about Monday uh, evening when we see another smaller storm system uh, moving into the area. So you can see on our regional hazardous threat uh, weather threat matrix that today is the worst of it. We start um, and the tomorrow we should see some cold temperatures as the storm moves out, um, maybe even some increased winds as the storm moves out. And then we have a fairly mild week after that, with the exception of Tuesday and Friday, where we can see some uh, gusty winds as the next low pressure systems move through the area. Not supposed to bring us a lot of precipitation. Uh, but of course, um, everything with this atmospheric river, the AR, they call it, um, things are always bound to change. So we'll definitely keep you updated. Uh, yesterday, there were two crimes reported, uh, one over here uh, in Lake Arrowhead and uh, one over here in Big Bear City. Uh, if you saw some emergency vehicles in your neighborhood yesterday, that's what was going on. Lastly, we have our COVID-19 update. Just 12 new cases reported across the mountain um, and single digit reporting in most areas. Um, and actually there's a little bit of an error. This was a typo, 36. So actually if you do the math, that gives us 22 cases. Um, so we'll have to update this, but 22 cases, still not bad. Um, we definitely need to get better. We still are in widespread risk on our state's four tier risk assessment uh, system. Um, we want to be all yellow minimum, which right now only Arrow Bear and Cedar Glen are in. Uh, this is a seven day average trailing seven days. So this is numbers from eight to 14 days ago. Um, 
So this number will be different um, because of the typo there, but uh, the rest of the numbers are accurate. Uh, we are at about a 5% total population of the mountain having tested positive for COVID in the last 11 months or so, which is a lot better than the rest of the county. We're at over 12% of all county residents have tested positive, better than the rest of the state, which is about 8.3%, best of the rest of the country, better than the rest of the country, which is uh, almost 8% of the entire country has tested positive. Uh, our daily numbers, we had uh, 1,875 cases on the mountain, so that gives us a daily uh, rate of 85.5 per 100,000. Uh, this number here is a little bit higher. I think we are at 22, so this would be a 44 uh, for today. Uh, so we'll, uh, we haven't gotten today's actual numbers. Uh, these, this is actually from yesterday. As soon as today's numbers are released closer to 1 o'clock, um, I will update this slide uh, and post it separately. Uh, so that's all that I have for you right now. Feel free to uh, follow along our new website, www.mountain-dispatch.com or the Mountain Dispatch. Uh, we are, update all of our social media channels there. Uh, all of our breaking news is also there. And then timely topics like uh, chaining up and power uh, outages and all of that neat stuff, what, what to do in the event of an emergency. Uh, feel free to email me or give me a text message. Follow along on Facebook, especially at What is Happening on the Mountain, or our other social media channels for late breaking news, including YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Periscope at Scott Shop Media. And we will definitely update you as the storm uh, goes through and we are likely to have some a lot of visitors up here this weekend and a lot of troubles on the highway as a result so we'll keep you updated have a safe day